Hey, this is Michael from Dr. Tranquility, and this is Inside the Belly. Hey, this is Sarah here at the Belly, and I'm here with Mikhail from Dark Tranquility on tour with Insomnium. How's the tour been so far? Now it's almost over. It's been awesome, almost four weeks now, and uh, fantastic shows, good times, really cool people we met, brews we've had. I, it, it's been one of my favorite tours, actually, of all time, I would say. Awesome. Let us live vicariously through you and tell us a little bit about the tours and then the meet and greets that you've gotten to do. Well, it's, it's one of those things, I, the, the VIP things, is like something that we dreaded because sometimes, I mean, we're Scandinavian, we're not the most social people. But it's actually been really cool. Like people are friendly, people are nice, you know, and um, it's something that, that kind of, it, it's become like a highlight of the day. Like you get to meet your, your fans and they're super nice. And um, it's, yeah, it kind of, it's a good start of the day, you know, like uh, meeting people and just having a little chat and having a beer together. And that's, so I, I, I really enjoy it actually. I thought it was going to be horrible. <laughs> Any memorable moments that stick out to you? Actually, last night was, in terms of the show, we did we played Anaheim and it was like one of the biggest venues we've ever played, I think. And so we were I've been dreading it for a month, Aww. like holy fuck, how we're we gonna fill that place? And it was huge, but we actually did, and it was one of the best shows of all time for me. So I, it 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 was magical, and uh, there's there's something about like we I, I, I guess it's a Scandinavian thing, whatever, but. You wake up feeling like shit and you don't have the, the, you know, the confidence to kind of feel good about what you're doing. You feel like, oh, today is going to be crap, today is going to be crap. But then you go on stage and it all turns into the best thing ever. Like, so it, it's weird. Like touring is it's kind of strange. Like you, every day is like that. You go from like, how oh, am I going to survive this to this is the best thing in the whole world. Like. This is, I'm so happy to be doing this and it's, it's the greatest thing ever. So it, it's, it's strange, but it's hard to kind of go from like the lowest, um, like you're feeling like shit and turning into like the best feeling ever. It's like, and you do that every day and it's, wow. it's great, but it's also, it's pretty exhausting. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, we but, thank you for doing But it. we wouldn't have it any other way. That's, yeah. uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, awesome. I love it. Um, so you're also at that, what was the, the beer place you're at in Anaheim that you posted uh, a, about? A brewery called The Brewery, oh. different spe spelling, but they're doing like really like artisan um, beers. I never had it before because they never like, they don't distribute to Sweden, but I, even my, some of my super nerdy beer friends, they regard it as one of the best and oh yes, it was phenomenal. We got to sample all of their stuff, or not all of them, but tons of it and um, they were super nice and gave us a, a free tour and free drinks and tons of stuff for the bus and stuff so uh, oh man it was an amazing day any chance for dark tranquility make their own beer we've been I've, I've been in talks with a few breweries actually about it so um, it, it's definitely gonna happen but I don't know when so you also you said that in an interview you did about 160 shows with this last uh, album release and now you're going to be starting to work on a new album yeah. any time like break in between or what are we looking forward to with the new album have you started working on it we've started working on it a little bit but nothing really like final yet and but yeah that's what we're doing like awesome. three more shows and then we do we go to mexico for three shows as well and then we head home and then we really need to uh, get to yeah unwind a little bit but also get into writing mode you know and do that so that's yeah that's no more tours and just a couple festivals this summer that's it so full on writing mode and i i look forward to that <laughs> you come up with a set list for tonight uh, for the, the entire worst. tour <laughs> it's the worst like 
how do you I, I know like some of the songs that we really like to play some songs that we know we everybody expects and then of course do something that you know is different from the last time so it, it works well I, I'm really really happy with the set list that we come up with for this tour and um, people seem really cool happy with it so okay but it's it's always a struggle and uh, long long email threads back and forth between us and um, trying to figure out what to do so I read that you're also a Star Trek nerd that I am with Next Generation yes okay that's my favorite well what do you think of the new movies the first one is beyond fantastic. I think it's it's maybe one of the best after First Contact. Uh, Into Darkness was really good too, and I can't wait for a third. But I'm oh, I don't know. Like I don't want anyone else but JJ to do it. So okay. it's kind of yeah, it's, it's gonna be weird, but it's of course super cool. And I I'm I'm so happy that they managed to do it. Like kind of kind of like a reboot, a, such a iconic series, and that it actually worked. You know, I think all the actors were perfectly cast. And I wish they would turn it into a TV show again, yeah. like se in seven seasons. Cool. Well, if you could be any race in Star Trek, what would you be? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ferengi? <laughs> I don't know. I love them. <laughs> did you ever get to go to Quark's Bar in Vegas? I did not. Oh. No. Uh, the two Martins in the band, they did um, years ago, before it closed. And I never got to go. And I'm really is. But it has. <laughs> I bought some Klingon beer the other day, so I was happy. And? Good? Nah, it wasn't, but it was cool. <laughs> awesome. So I have a friend that is a big fan of yours, and they wanted to know what your uh, most memorable song from a kid, from when your childhood was. Um, it's probably Heartache by... Uh, what's it? Um, fuck. I'm drawing a blank, too. Um... Yeah, 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 yeah. What the? F uh, this is it's <laughs> early in the morning for me. We know the song. But yeah, it's and it's a fantastic, song, fantastic song. It's, it, it's, it's the first song that I ever learned lyrics to, even though I didn't speak English, of course, and I, I didn't understand what it was about. Yeah. What, what's the name? It's a. You know? Fuck. Funny. Funny. Funny rate. Funny Tyler. Funny Tyler. Tyler. Yeah. That's there you it. Go. So we have him. <laughs> Yeah, but it was like my my dad's like favorite, and so okay. I I borrowed his album, and I yeah I got that. That's the first song that I remember uh, loving. That's awesome. And it's still a fantastic song. So. You guys should do a cover of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I appreciate this. Is there anything you would like to add, or anything uh, you want to say to the fans? We were just super grateful for the fact that we we get to come here year after year and have and make great shows and have a great time and meet a lot of fantastic people and uh, it, this is awesome this is the best job in the world so thanks thank you very much